1973, rear windows weren't removable, but rear luggage space height increased two inches due to the removal of the window storage shelf. Speaking to Car and Driver magazine, Zora Duntoff stated that removal of the rear window created too much interior air buffeting, and that is not a cost savings for the, re for the reason for a fix in 1973. This is a beautiful four-speed 1973 coupe, Ontario Orange. As always, let's look underneath the bumpers. We'll notice that they got a little bit older on those uh, bolts there, so probably original style. Um, I noticed two holes here and here in the bumpers. Rear tire carrier is there. There is a spare tire, we don't know the condition of it. Um, as we look up under our framing, it's all in very good shape up underneath. Our bushings, while doing their job, are old. Sway bar links are original. Our trailing arms are in excellent shape. Looks like the tongue cushion bushing has been done. And then our frame is in excellent shape. We got older parking brake apparatus. So probably in op. Seating surfaces are very good. Original shielding for our foot wells. Transmission engine all in very good shape underneath. And again, our frame continuing up is in excellent shape as well on both sides. Power steering in good shape. Our A-arms are good. I noticed that the bushings on the front are older as well. So probably original. And our radiator core support is in excellent shape. And then as we come to the front here, we'll notice that all this is correct and in good shape. As we make one more pass underneath, folks, as always, 770-605-2056 or john at buyavet.net. If you'd like to know more about this or any of the hundreds of Corvettes I carry in stock, we'll see you on the road.